What's going on guys? Welcome to Steve Does Stuff. I'm Steve. Today, we're gonna to be doing some truck stuff. For those of you who don't know, that is a 2016 GMC Canyon. It's got the 3.6 liter LFX engine in it. It's got about 210,000 kilometers on it and we are gonna be doing some brake fluid flushing stuff today. Got my buddy Rhett here to help me out. So for our fluid change today, we're gonna to be using AC Delco Dot 3 brake fluid. Bought this from the dealership for about 12 bucks a jug. So if you go to uh, page 361, replace brake fluid, uh, it doesn't have an interval. I have heard every like two years, 80,000 kilometers. I instead waited like six years, 210,000 kilometers. So it's probably time to do it. Let's bring the truck up in here. We're gonna start at the furthest point from the master cylinder. So we're going back passenger tire, bring it in, jack it up, take the wheels off, start blasting these together. So we got back wheels off. We're gonna start at the furthest from the master cylinder. Bleeder valve is just on the very back right here. It's got this nice little rubber cap on it. Uh, if you live in a corrosive environment such as Canada, Northern United States, you're gonna to wanna to soak these in PB before you try and break them loose because if you've ever broken a bleeder screw off in a caliper, that's bad news. So we're gonna soak them for a little bit. Oh, dude, it's bad. Two. All right, so pop the hood. Find your brake master cylinder. Should be right here. Give it a little wipe. Especially if you've got an oil spray like I have. It's gonna be real dirty. So you want to be able to see the level of which. Let's see how the fluid looks. Ah, it actually looks pretty good. A little, little dark, but not bad. All right, so instead of pushing all the bad fluid through this, we are going to get the fluid sucker that I have out. Suck it down. Put some new fluid in start going so this is a vacuum pump fluid extractor basically you stick this into whatever you want to suck the fluid out of give the top a bunch of pumps like so it sucks the fluid in there use it in my transmission fluid change video works beautifully so we're going to use this put this somewhere you can lose it want to give me some pumps here chief yep. pull me up it's not going to take much <laughs> like transmission fluid and oil and brake fluid now. Well, we got our old brake fluid out. We're gonna put some new stuff in. Really hard to see here though. And we're gonna fill this up till it's over full because we wanna try and push as much good fluid through the system as possible. So we're gonna get her right up. Can't really see the line at all. Oh yeah, we full. All right, start pumping. There's definitely better material to use besides this, but what we have here is piece of vacuum line that is on the end of the nipple of the bleeder. So that will form a nice seal and let the fluid come out. That is run into a bottle so we can see the fluid that is coming out of here. Originally it's gonna be pretty nasty because it's been in there for six years. Perfect world, you're gonna be using a clear piece of line so you can see what the fluid coming out is like before it hits the bottle. But this world is far from perfect. So Brett is gonna get in the truck, start pumping it up. And we'll see what happens. Cracking, uh, cracking. All right, pump. that nasty brake fluid. All right, so now that we're done the passenger side rear, we're gonna move on to the driver side rear. You always wanna start from the furthest point from the brake master cylinder. So if it's on the driver side, the furthest point is the back passenger side. So Brett is gonna be manning the bleeder. I'm gonna be doing the pumpy pumpy. Okay, one, 
two, three, and holding. Holding? Yep. Good. One, two, three, and holding. So while I've waited way too long to change it, changing your brake fluid is super important because brake fluid is a caustic liquid, which means it attracts water and brakes and brake fluid undergo extreme heat changes when you're slamming on the brakes and dropping the anchor and trying to stop. Brake fluid has a super high boiling point, so you're not gonna get any vapor or anything in the lines. Old brake fluid, which if it has attracted water over say six years or 210,000 kilometers, can start to build up some water in the line and that water will then flash boil and all of a sudden you got no brakes because you got an air bubble in there. So we're changing it up, throw these back tires back on, we'll do the front and that's it. is jacked up. We're still starting from furthest from the master cylinder. Front disc brakes. Bleeder is in the most obvious location. PB is always your friend. Even if it's almost out. Come on, get in there. PB him, let him sit for a minute. You'll be thankful you did, because you won't have snapped them. All right, front passenger. We'll take our little Blake Brakemeister 4000. So this is the fluid that's coming out of here. It is especially dirty. Front brakes take all of the abuse, all of the heat. All right, pump her up. Ooh, good, pump. Tracking, good. I think that's all we need, man. Yeah, it's, it's looking, it's clear. Now that we're all done, this is a great example to show you the difference in brake fluid. This is the brand new brake fluid from AC Delco. This is six year old fluid, 210,000 kilometers. I am very glad it's out of my brake system. All right, final step. Make sure our fluid is nice and high. I can't see it through here, so I filled it mostly to the top. That's going to do it for this episode of Steve Does Stuff. Hope this helps someone out there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.